Greetings Tenno! My name is Zero Jake and this is Warframe. I can tell that you are curious about the so-called uncommon melee mod Fever Strike. Why is it that it is astronomically hard to find when it is both uncommon and necessary to create melee weapons that can deal corrosive, gas and viral damage? Well, if it is a farming plan you need, you have come to the right place. For those of you who don't know, Fever Strike is an uncommon mod that increases the toxin damage of a melee weapon and drops from Arid Butchers, Frontier Butchers and Hive Sabotage Caches. Now the reason why so few people have Fever Strike is that you have to farm for enemies on Earth or Mars, restricting the planets you can get it from. Butchers are uncommon spawns and as Earth and Mars are low level planets, not many enemies spawn in the first place. Plan 1 Farm the Cervantes excavation mission on Earth. Here is where I believe the easiest place to farm Frontier Butchers, as there is no time limit and you can guarantee the mission's success from very early on. The overall strategy is simple, make sure there is an active extractor and the enemies will come to you, with the Butchers running straight towards it, easy for shooting. You can bring a Warframe that can increase drop chances like Necros or Pilfering Swarm Hydroid if you want to increase time efficiency, though I don't have either of those things hence I'm using the Prime. Simply keep going until either you start dying, get bored or the mod drops. Plan 2 Farm the Martial Eyes Excavation Mission on Mars. Here, in my opinion, is the easiest area to farm arid butchers, for exactly the same reasons as before. However, as Mars is slightly higher in level, more enemies will spawn, leading to more chances for butchers, hence higher chance for Fever Strike to drop. The strategy is the same, make sure there is an active extractor and the enemies will come to you. There will, however, be a larger diversity of enemy units, so make sure you can handle yourself. Plan 3 if neither of those seem appealing to you and you can handle level 35 infested with your eyes closed, then I recommend doing the only Hive Sabotage node, Neglar on Eris. For this I strongly recommend a max rank Thief's Wit installed on the Warframe as this will highlight all containers on the minimap, including the caches that you're looking for. What you need to do is find two of the three caches, as only the second cache out of the three will drop Fever Strike. Unfortunately, it has a 5.68% drop chance, so you'll need to run this at least 20 times on average, but we know how random number generation works, so it'll be more like 50. Plan 4. Transmute it. Yep, it is transmutable, but you have an even smaller drop chance than the cache, which you can improve on by going to Cephalon Cimeris in the relay, buying the Narrowman Transmutation Cores, which will make the transmutation cost one less mod, be credit free, and increase the drop chance significantly, for the price of 10,000 reputation with Cimeris a go. Still don't like any of those plans? Well, just spend platinum to get it from someone lucky in the trade chat. But you might be there a while, and it is the most boring and expensive option available. Or, as a temporary solution, you can create a new account, get the damaged version of Fever Strike from the Force Prize quest, and trade it to your main account. I hope this information has been valuable. My name is Zero Jake. End transmission.